Chemo on duty. So Yorick is a little different because when Yorick misses his E, you want to go all in. So really what we want to do is we just want to operate with just shrooms, have him hit shrooms, try to one shot him, etc, etc. So we have a volley bear that is claiming he is masters. Let's see how he performs this game. Now, check this out. If I had Ignite, that Yorg would be dead. <sighs> you see what I mean? Like, it's not a big deal, but at the same time, it's going to make a difference. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. I feel like I kind of wasted Ghost on that, but it is what it is. Oh, you're dead, buddy. You're dead, buddy. This Bolly Bear is actually... Been... Okay. Let me get the wave first, buddy. I'm gonna be 100% honest with y'all. Ever since I started playing with like the intention of just getting dark harvest stacks and farming and not really too focused on kills and just scaling so much better. Focusing on late game instead of early domination has been working wonders for me. The fact that I stopped this York from getting tower plates, I think is pretty good. I think that's pretty dope. But yeah, but the fact that we, this York hasn't gotten any turn, is amazing. This volley bear is over here telling me to come through and Okay, they flash. That's dope. I don't think you guys understand. My favorite thing in the whole wide world is to cheese Yorix when they're going for turn. It's my favorite thing to do in the whole wide world. Nothing makes nothing turns me on more. Hold on. <laughs> oh, nothing turns me on more than doing that. Oh man. Cause it's like you know they want it. You know nothing turns on Yorick and Trondle and Trandomir players more than getting tower has been slain. so it's like now if we Rampage. tell him thank you come again Let's get Baron, guys. Go to someone else. Daddy team. Got this.
I mean, I'm really doing a number to these guys. I'm really doing a number to these guys. Once again, the volley that apparently has a masters on another account is currently five, four, and nine against platinum and emerald players. And this is why I do not listen to people when they have when they say they have a different account in like challenger or grandmasters. But it's like, what does that even? Well, I, okay, challengers. No, I do think a lot of challenger players do smurf, but masters. When they're like, oh, I'm diamond on another. Let me back up a little bit. I mean, and this is just one of those classic Teemo games, really. Another classic Teemo game. The thing with Trendemir, we have two options. We can go Tabby's, which would help a lot in landing phase, or we can go Zanya's, which would help with his ult. Uh, we tower dive this man, actually. Skarner's mid. He's making his way top. Does he die? Hey, turn up. Oh, wow. I Okay, so I don't blame him for not hitting R because I wasn't expecting that kind of burst from me either. Like, that that shook me. That surprised me. So I'm, I know for a fact it surprised him. I mean, I feel bad for this Trendamere. Why would you choose Trendamere to a Teemo? Like, I don't feel bad for you, buddy. Uh, we have Leandries. I mean, this is basically GG's, honestly. The Trendemir has 57 CS. The power, of, he's like, thanks team, but it's like the power of friendship always is gonna conquer all, you know? The power of friendship is always gonna conquer all. Uh, we don't know where any of them are at. Oh, GG's. I mean, the nasty things that we did to Trendemir, and if you look on the other side of the lane, it was just complete domination.